really in a need to find new treatments for obesity. Um, and oxytocin may be one of these therapeutic agents and it is extensively researched now. Um, and what we know is, first of all, oxytocin is a naturally occurring hormone in the body, um, but it is increasingly recognized as an neurooxygenic hormone, meaning that it decreases appetite. And in addition, there is also evidence that it specifically decreases the appetite for hedonic eating, for palatable food. And so what we do in our lab at Mass General is we want to characterize appetite regulation with fMRIs. And if we'll take a step back and we look at the individuals with obesity, when we look at fMRIs funding, we see that individuals with obesity, they have hyperactivation of the reward circuit in the brain. And what we found in our study is that oxytocin targets exactly this hyperactivation in the obese population. In a previous study, we found that oxytocin decreased the ball signal to um, high calorie images in the ventral tegmental area, which is the origin of the meso uh, mesolimbic system, and it is critical for reward processing. So in this study, we looked at the functional connectivity between the VTA, the ventral tegmental area, and the rest of the brain. And what we found was that oxytocin attenuated, weakened this connectivity between the VTA and key brain areas that are important for the um, emotional, cognitive, and sensory processing of um, food images, visual food images. And obviously we also want to look um, at a bigger cohort. So right now we're doing an NIH-funded uh, study uh, in which 60 subjects will participate. Um, and this will look at prolonged administration of oxytocin uh, before every meal at bedtime for eight weeks. Uh, the study will include extensive evaluation, so again, the fMRI studies to evaluate appetite regulation, but also blood tests for metabolic parameters, um, DEXA scan and whole body MRI to look at body composition, and a neurocognitive sub-study to look at anxiety and well-being. So this is a pretty extensive um, study with oxytocin.